What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get into these post-draft power rankings, man. And I just need to know why the media just keeps on disrespecting the Minnesota Vikings, man. I don't understand this. So CBS Power Rankings, they have us ranked at 20. You know, out of 32 teams, they got us ranked 20. Now, let me explain some teams that they have in front of us. And now uh, let me get let me get to this point first. The reason we're at 20, we got a new head coach. They said our offense is high powered. So, you know, that's why we're at 20 because we're high powered. But there's always a but anything after but you already know what time it is, right? The defense needs work, they said, but we spent a lot of draft capital to improve the defense. Okay, I get that. All right, but we can just go down the list and name some players that we have. You know, Justin Jefferson, the Kirk Cousins, who they always claim is, you know, top 10 quarterback. You're always on the, on the, you know, verge of being 10 to 12, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got Dalvin Cook. We got Daniil Hunter, Harrison Smith. I mean, we can just go on, right? But let, let's just figure this out, all right? So, you know, we'll, we'll go down the list. All right, Rams, number one, we okay with that. Bills, number two, we okay with that. Chiefs, three, Packers, four, which I don't agree with that. How the hell they four? They just lost Devontae Adams. Like, how? Who, who sits back and makes up these lists? How are they number four? You know what I'm saying? Buccaneers, number five. We could be okay with that. Bengals, Chargers, the Broncos, number eight. Now, they got Russell Wilson. I understand that. But who in the world, after looking at last season, plus they draft, who in the world made them just rise all the way up? You know what I mean? They went up 11 spots. 11 spots. You know what I'm saying? The 49ers, number nine. Ravens, 10. The Eagles, number 11. The Eagles. So what did the Eagles do? Yeah, they got A.J. Brown, right? But what did the Eagles do? to make them better than the Minnesota Vikings. What makes them think that the Eagles are better than the Minnesota Vikings? It blows my mind. Of course, the Cowboys. So so we got that. Now, this is the NFC East right here that's taking spots 11, 12, and 13. We got the Eagles at 11, right? They think the Eagles are the best team in the NFC East, right? Then they got the Cowboys at 12. Of course, they're going to always put the Cowboys up there no matter what. You know what I mean? And then the Commanders. The commanders are number uh, at rank 13. So they're they're saying that the commanders are better than the Minnesota Vikings. Really? Y'all saying the commander, man, fuck out of here. Right. Then they got the Colts at 14. Browns, which the Browns, I mean, they got Deshaun Watson. OK, I can see that. The Titans. All right. This is another team. They just got rid of A.J. Brown. They got Ryan Tannehill at quarterback that hasn't been playing that good the past couple seasons, right? What makes them believe that the Titans are a better put-together football team than the Minnesota Vikings? Got me. All right, the Raiders, the Patriots, the Cardinals. And then here we come, right? So, I mean, I just don't get... So, And this is the thing. Bleacher Report has us at, like, number 22. I mean, theirs is just even more disgraceful. You know what I mean? Like, this is the thing. If you, I like to try to be a realist with my team. I'm not going to say we're going to the Super Bowl or none of this. But what I can say is between last season, switching the coach and picking up some of these free agents we picked up, we definitely better than we were last year. They claim we went up one spot. We went up one spot. Now, that's some BS. I feel like we should definitely be in the 13, 14, 15 range, if you want me to be real. And I think that we'll break into the top 10 once the season starts and we get a couple of games under our belt. And, and these people can really see that we're not here to play. You know what I'm saying? We're going to definitely get into the top 10, man. Y'all leave y'all comments. Let me know how y'all feel. Try to explain why they always trying to diss the Minnesota Vikings, man. Quit playing with the purple, man, for real. Like, we, we need to come together. Listen, these Vikings content creators, man, I see y'all. I, 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 I support all of y'all. We need to start coming together and doing these live streams like all the other fan bases do and start really pushing our team out there and get this respect, man. They got to put some respect on our name. You feel me? But, hey, I appreciate y'all tapping in, man. Appreciate y'all for show, doing all the likes, all the subscribes, all the comments, man. Holla at your boy.
Appreciate everybody for tapping into the Purple Pocket Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. Purple Gang.